All right. Uh, I am on my protection paladin, Conqueror. Um, and I'm here in STV looking for some good PvP. Uh, as everyone knows, this is a pretty good zone to find some good PvP in. There's a lot of players here spending a lot of time doing a wide variety of activities. And, uh, you know, the Protection Paladin is not your typical uh, PvP class, but I'm here to show everyone today that this class can be pretty formidable and is definitely a force to be reckoned with if you, uh, if you cross one on your travels. So, you know, here I am stalking the roads of SDV. You know the drill, and we're going to get right down to business. So the, uh, the first thing you want to do when you're out on the prowl for some good PvP, you want to go to the questing areas, you want to go to all the hotspots. So, you know, a lot of people like to do these troll quests here in their uh, mid to late uh, 30s. And that's what we're looking for here today. We're looking for somebody around level 36, level 37 that we can fight in PvP. You know, if you're level 60, you don't need to worry about these tigers. You can just run on past them. But our, our opponents, on the other hand, they're going to have to actually aggro these to flee from us. And we're going to use that as an advantage because... Paladin does not do a great deal of damage, um, and so most of our DPS is actually going to be coming from Gorillas and uh, Skull Splitter Warriors and um, some of these invisible Jaguars. So you don't need to worry about your talent build. You know, I have a pretty cool talent build. You don't need to worry about anything like that because most of your DPS is going to be coming from the mobs. Um, and your job is pretty much, there's this ability that uh, Paladins get called Hammer of Justice and it stuns the target for five seconds on a one minute cooldown. Now, um, five seconds is a pretty long time. And if you if you use the hammer of justice, you know, in a clump of trolls, like this is a, hold on, strategic little zoom out here. So you see this little pack of trolls, this is perfect. If we were to stun our target, let's say like right here, these trolls would um, most undoubtedly do swift work. Uh, of our target, you know, they would take him out. So we're, you know, the whole the whole protection paladin PVP skill is it's about being really strategic because you don't have all the same tools and damage and everything that some of these other classes. You know, in my opinion, much easier classes to play. They're uh, a lot easier, you know, than this one is. So those those easier classes they have a lot of stuff that does a lot of damage, and we don't have any of that. So we have to play much more strategic, um, you know, when we're when we're out here PvPing. So uh, I'm I'm still on the lookout here right now. Um, it's a real shame that there's no players like right here because I could probably do a lot of burst damage with all these trolls here. But I'm still prowling around. It doesn't look like anybody's questing in the trolls right now. So I'm probably going to move on to another pack, another questing area. Um, thankfully, I'm a, I'm a fairly knowledgeable player. Um, I've leveled up a lot of different characters, so I know most of the questing spots for the Horde, and um, I'm going to go prowl some of those questing spots right now, see if we can get some good duels going. Spotted another target. Okay, I see him. Thankfully, we have a troll on our side. Oh, it's a DPS from the troll? No, nope, he killed the troll. He killed the troll. Ugh! Wow. So, if you want to locate an opponent in the level, you know, the mid 30 range, you need to think like somebody in their mid 30 range so um, you know people who are like level 36 level 37 you know they're they have a one-track mind they just want to get experience they just want to get some silver to buy their mount you know they just want to like get through STV without being ganked right so like these are the things that are on the mind of a level 36 or a level 37 player so um, generally like what I would do right now if I were a level 36, is I would probably be up here um, at the Baolau ruins, probably uh, 
fighting trolls for quest items to cash in and get experience. Um, so, like I said, if we think like a level 37, we can probably locate a level 37. Um, right? Because when you're PvPing as a protection paladin, uh, intelligence and, you know, the ability to blend in with your surroundings and be smart and strategic, these are your biggest assets. Okay, so I'm here at the uh, Balal Ruins, and there are a few dead trolls here, which means... Yup. Okay, so this is why expertise and game knowledge pays off, because here we are... Oh, that's... Wait, that's a level 60. Um, well, uh, hmm. So on second thought, um, maybe the Balao Ruins aren't such a great spot, because it seems like there's basically a raid here uh, of players. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maybe reconsider. Just kidding. Maybe we can get the 30. If I stun the 60. It's all about crowd control. It's all about crowd control. So now that the 30's been dealt with, we have a 60 here. We've gotta get behind him. If he's keyboard turning, um, it's a huge opportunity for damage. Especially if he's a melee hunter. This guy's a melee hunter, so this is like best case scenario. We're gonna get huge damage here in a second. Huge damage. Massive damage. It's coming any minute now. I got both of them. Wow. Okay, we have some evidence here. There's a couple of dead um, young stranglethorn tigers, so we're gonna we're gonna follow the trail of evidence to see if we can find anybody. Okay, the uh, the search intensifies a little bit here. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean in closer to my monitor. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Um, you can see below the hill. If I crest over it, there's a level 33 orc warrior. This might be a little bit of a challenge, so I'm actually gonna reapply some buffs and go straight in. to finish that guy off. Absolutely massive crit. Well, I uh, hope you guys learned something about Protection Paladin PvP today. And uh, I encourage more people to try out the uh, try out the build. I'll put my, my talent calculator in the description below. If you want to pick up this class and play it, kind of like I do, and you'll be able to dominate Stranglethorn Vale, hopefully in a couple of weeks of practice.